it's really nice to have a stream of revenue that isn't associated with advertising and isn't necessarily beholden to large companies or whatever. Those are some of the things I think about with the crowdfunding campaign. It looks like your videos could easily be 20 or 30 minutes long. It looks <laughs> oh, like yeah. they're very purposely put at the length that they're at. Uh, two questions. One, obviously, is that deliberate? Do you intentionally try to get it to a certain... Do you have a, a sweet spot for the length of a practical engineering video? And two, how happy were you when they changed the third mid-roll ad to the <laughs> eight-minute mark and not the 10-minute mark? <laughs> yeah. I'm thoughtful in, about it in, in just in the way that this is what's worked for me so far. So I don't want to deviate too far from that. And now, you know, I've created an expectation with my viewers that this is kind of the level of detail that I go into in my videos. This is kind of the length of them and so on. And so when I write a script, I do have a certain word count that I shoot for. And, you know, that's a nice thing for me as a writer too, because it kind of forces me to boil the topic down to the right level. At like to not go too deep into the weeds, not go into too many tangents and just really focus on what I want to talk about. So that's nice. Have you thought about experimenting with, with full full length content or even the new shorts that are available on the on the platform? Yeah, the the shorts I'm not that interested in. I think getting getting anything below a minute is just gonna be a real challenge for the type of stuff that I talk about. But but you I can have explain the entire power grid and <laughs> explain the power seconds. grid in thirty yeah, seconds. Yeah. <laughs> but I have thought about, you know, exploring um longer form topics because people do I, I get that question a lot, like I want a little more meat on the bones, basically. And and sometimes it really does feel like I have to boil it down so far that it's not it's not that interesting or or half the video is just context because <laughs> It's such a complicated topic that you had to have enough background to understand it. And then you've wasted half your video just talking about that. So, so I, I definitely am thinking about trying some longer length videos and seeing how those, how people respond to those. Let me switch gears just for a moment here and ask you a question about STEM education and about, you seem to have a, a unique position where you can kind of straddle between understanding the blue collar world of the construction workers who are making these <laughs> enormous projects and the engineers who are designing these. And it seems like when the past few years that we've been putting such an emphasis on science and math education and almost to the exclusion of the trades. And it, in fact, it seems like kids are almost being discouraged from entering construction fields and plumbing and electricians and all of these things that we need for infrastructure. I'm just kind of curious what your thoughts are on that. Yeah, I, th I think that's totally true. In fact, you know, there's been so many times where I think back and say, man, if I could just go back and start a heating and an AC company, <laughs> I could be rich right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I think for some reason, and and I don't I don't fully understand the reason that we put such an emphasis on science and technology, engineering, and, and mathematics. Maybe it was just competition with other countries or whatever. But I definitely have seen throughout my career that the trades are a little bit looked down upon, even though mm -hmm. um, those people make great money. They work very rewarding careers, and and you know, they do. A they're lot so of necessary. Really cool stuff. Yeah, they're absolutely they're so needed necessary. for society. And especially with girls, girls are never encouraged to go into the trades. Yeah. It's like exclusively, they're like pigeonholed. You have to do math or science. 